Hi and welcome. My name is Devin Knight. I'm the director of training at Pragmatic Orgs. And I want to welcome you to a new video series called Five Minutes to Wow, where we're going to be looking at different tips and tricks that you can do inside Power BI to really enhance the capabilities of what is possible in the tool. So let's jump right into it because we only have five minutes. All right, so in this demonstration, we're going to be looking at tooltips with inside of Power BI. And if you aren't really familiar with tooltips, that's the capability of hovering above different column values or different visuals and getting an indicator like you see on my screen now that says electronics and the sales amount and the stock as a little indicator to tell you more information about your selection or your hover over in this case. Sometimes you might hear people call it a hover over. All right, in this case, what we want to do is we want to add new capabilities to the tooltip. And say, for example, right now we're looking at the different categories. We see electronics, we see clothing, we see pets, and we want to make it so we can see all the subcategories listed as well. Unfortunately, that's not possible by default because whenever you go to drag subcategory from your field list down to the tooltip section, notice what happens. It doesn't just show you a list of tooltips, it actually does a form of an aggregate here where it's bringing back the very first subcategory from the list. So we're seeing cell phones here, we're seeing boys clothing here, we're seeing cats here. So the problem is, whenever you go to bring a value, an attribute value, into a tooltip, it forms some form, kind of a aggregate with it, whether it be the first, whether it be the last, count distinct, or the count. Now the count one might be helpful because it tells you how many subcategories are here. This one has seven, this one has five, this one has two, but really what I want to do is get a list of all the subcategories by name, not just a number of subcategories. So if I want to do something like that, I need to learn a little bit of DAX to make this possible. Now the DAX that we're going to be using for this, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste in here. And you're going to need to be doing this through a DAX measure. And so to create a DAX measure, you can either right click on the table name in the field list and select, say new measure, or you can go underneath the modeling ribbon on the top of the Power BI desktop and select new measure here. To paste in this measure, you'll notice what we're using is a concatenate X function that allows us to concatenate a comma separated list, in this case, a delimiter that we've set here is the comma plus a space, that gives us each of the subcategories followed by a comma and a space. So we're kind of listing them out here. If I hit enter or return on this, you'll notice what happens is it actually creates this new subcategory measure for me, calculated measure, and I can drag and drop this into my tooltip section to see exactly what it's done. So here it's giving me all seven of my subcategories listed out very clearly. This one's giving me all five, and this one's only two. Now, that's nice, but the problem that you might have here is what if I have 75 subcategories, and that's just way too many to be able to display here. And that's where there's another interesting solution here that was developed by my buddy called, uh, named Dustin Ryan, who actually on his blog, SQLDusty.com, has many solutions like this. But I wanted to share this one in a video form. It's all him. He created this one, but I want to share it with you. And what he's done for you is he's shown how you can actually create another measure that's a little bit more useful when you have a large number of subcategories that you need to display. So I'm going to create another new measure here. And in this new measure, I'm going to go ahead and paste this code in. You can look at it. You can pause this, the video if you'd like to look at that more in depth. But essentially what he's doing in his example is he's checking to see a count of how many subcategories there are. And if there's more than three subcategories, then what it's going to show is actually a little indicator. Let me show you what the value looks like here, and I'm going to remove the old example. What happens now is if you use the tooltip, you'll hover above and you'll see that it shows the top three subcategories, and then it says and more for the rest. So here you'll see the top three, women's, men's, boys, and more, and then pets, because there's only two, it just says dogs and cats. So this is an interesting way whenever you have many subcategories or many values underneath that you want to display that you're able to actually give some kind of an indicator that there's more than just what you're seeing here. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the slides and do a quick review of what we learned in this example. All right, so a quick review of what we talked about in this example. We talked about the problem of dealing with tooltips and how they automatically aggregate those text values into either a first, a last, count distinct, or a count function. And what we want to do is be able to display a comma-separated list of values. So we used a couple different DAX functions. Uh, one was a calculate, a concatenate X, and the values function in our first example. And then our second example, we actually used a variable to be able to make it a little bit easier to consolidate those values together and see that and more functionality we showed. Then the solution, the final solution was we dropped that into our section where we had the tooltip to be able to visualize it. Now, if you really thought this was an interesting example, I recommend that you take a look at the other types of trainings we have at Pragmatic Works. If you go to pragmaticworks.com and check out our training section, you'll see that we have on-demand training that allows you to watch training at any time. And because you watch this video, I want to give you a special offer. If you add one, an item to your cart from our on-demand training and use the promo code POWERBIWOW, 
you can actually get 10% off your training. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and look forward to uh, hopefully you also enjoying our additional training we have on our website. Thanks a lot.